Hello, good morning. I am in what looks like Dog Walkers Park. I'm retracing some old steps of my past when I have my bus. But the reason I'm here is because I'm going to the dentist. So I thought, well, better not waste the opportunity. The light is brilliant. We're going to be heading down there in a minute. And I thought I'd show you some interesting trees. Seems I've found some. They were a lot smaller when I used to come here. This is my way home. So I'm one of those sort of people who will avoid main roads, roads, people, common footpaths, common places. I'll, I'll avoid them. Look at these uh, lovely willow trees there. Trying to focus on that blossom. Well, people are out because they think it's spring. <laughs> because it's warm and it's March, so that means spring. It's amazing how controlled people are. It's quite cold though. Uh, I'm going to head for the path over here and then we'll investigate some more stuff. This looks like three cornered leak here to me. Let's uh, try. A Yeah, it's three cornered leak, which has become a bit invasive in the southwest. We may see that at some point in the future as, um, as spring gets on and summer comes. Now the reason Bath is so loved is because you can see the countryside because of the hills and dips and stuff giving you a sight normally or what I used to do and look how old this tree is normally what I would have been doing is going up there on my way home I used to be able to get home via footpaths but this is a lovely old tree isn't it there's quite a few old ones along here Apparently whoever she's talking about is uh, more trouble than her. <laughs> it's great, I love overhearing conversations. It <laughs> can be dangerous, can't it? Just hearing some snippets. Do you like that tree? There's another old one there. Avenues of trees are uh, quite nice, aren't they? If you're gonna not have trees all over the place, like you know, how wooded this would have been at one time, then these old plane trees, which I don't know if you know this, but plane trees are grown in cities and towns, well, mostly cities, because they can cope with pollution. That's why they shed their bark. If you notice, it's all sort of different colours with the 
different kinds of bark underneath. And they're not all plain trees, this. And uh, you see the grove there, little magic grove. Oh, lovely, aren't they? Nice and big. Yeah, we. I, I wouldn't like to guess because I don't know my history of like Georgian times and Regency times, but yeah, it's it's possible. Even Jane Austen walked past these trees. Totally possible, seeing she lived just over here, not too far away which I may show you or I may just get a shot and pop it in here so we'll see it looks like there's been some work getting on there's another grove here I don't know what these trees are because they're not really they're not usually native stuff they plant here but when I sold my bus I had it parked in the road there You can see some blossom coming out over there. But there's the path we would have taken, this one on the right here. I'll see if I can zoom in to the blossom. Well, that wasn't too bad. Well, over there, ahead of us, is the uh, botanic garden. And there is a dark underbelly in this place. Really quite dark. So the botanic garden is behind those birch trees there. talking of the dark underbelly if I do a bit of a spin here and we'll probably see it a bit more in a minute but at one time not so long ago you could come here and park your car around the edge and come and hang out in the park and so, as a result, it used to feel quite a safe place to park a car. Well now, what they've done is they've installed, or they did, install parking meters. Now you have to phone and do it without cash, do it digitally. But they used to, and then what happened was, people stopped coming here and parking, and the park died. Now, this is quite strange for me because this is the most amount of people that I've seen in this park in 10 years. And I'm often here, or I was often here at this time of the day. I can't believe it. It really is quite uh, unusual. Anyway, behind me, or where we're standing, this is where the circuses come to uh, the fair goes over there, uh, the fun fair, because you go to there to have fun. Uh, look at some of these trees here. And look at this one with these like bean-like pods in. They are quite tall. This is a very tall tree. I think there's a bird up there in the very top. Uh, is it? Yeah, it's a plane tree, isn't it? And then obviously there's a willow there. You can tell by its orange whips. And then a nice line of trees beyond it. And then over there, where the weeping willow is, I can just zoom in. See, so there's a weeping willow there. And then that bit has a bit of a pond where ducks go and if you look now in the center 
there's a lovely red whipped tree now one of the things that I wanted to show you was this here now I say show you well sadly you won't see anything because this path here either side of this path here where the benches are you see there's only three of them left was an avenue of cherry trees so there must have been what two dozen there and they got a cherry disease because we've got all kinds of diseases from imported plants that are killing our native trees or I say native but yeah well this was beautiful to walk down when the blossom was out just absolutely beautiful uh, the, there aren't any words for it are there when if you've ever walked through a cherry avenue you know just how amazing it is now sadly I don't have time to go and have a look at the pond but we can get a brief view through here there hopefully that shows the ducks so now instead of an avenue there are two trees but looking at these they don't look particularly healthy so these ones two are going to go yeah there's not they've got no long left there's a few buds on the top there but let's take you through there anyway for me this is the last time ever see people have walked along here and they've got no idea there's a there you go, there's a stump there and there's a stump there they're the most recent stumps and this one is going to be the last one quite clearly it's actually more healthy than the other two but I can see it has the feel of dying and death So, sorry about that. So I'm just going to hit the road. Like I said, see, that used to be full of cars, this road. And now, only a few people come here. So, join me in a second on the other side. And a monument. Look at this. Always, always alignments. A tri monument to Princess Victoria. Uh, with lions around the base. Uh, I don't know. Albert. I don't know. Oh, uh, it's an Albert Memorial, is it? But this is called Victoria Park. So that gives you a clue as to. <laughs> anything but uh, say hello to a lion hello mate and there she is and cue the full version of the song but you see straight down the avenue into the other side of the park below the Royal Crescent and there we go the Royal Crescent perfectly with the Waitrose van because only the best people shop at Waitrose can almost get it in now this place is the scene of a story from me I don't know whether to, whether to tell it now, but I came down here back when I used to juggle and do circus performing. Came down with some friends and they were joking about how I was going to catch fire because I did fire juggling. Anyway, 
I stood outside there, I saw there's loads of people, big audience, so I did thought I'll do some fire breathing. So I got a mouthful of the stuff, picked my moment, sprayed it out, uh, sprayed it out that way. And the next thing I went, oh yeah, that's a good one. Cause it was a good one. It was one of my best. And the next thing, the wind blew. And I saw this beautiful flame, ball of flame, just come towards me and envelop my head. And uh, they put me out with orange juice. <laughs> anyway, I lost some eyebrows, uh, some eye a lot of eyelashes, uh, a bit of my beard and some hair. <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't windy when I blew. Anyway, that'll teach me not to show off, won't it? The other thing I was going to mention about here is lovely that that tree in the light, or well both the trees, the shadow, and then to the right of that, how the something's catching the light in that tree. Now I used to live down there, literally, just down there. And uh, for those who don't know, the Fossway comes through here, uh, which, as I've said before in other videos, was the road I was born on. And my son, who was born down there, was born on the Fossway as well, because the Fossway crossed through the corner of the building where we lived. Just clipped the edge of it and went across, basically in front of where we lived, which if I get time, I'll, I'll get a bit of footage of that, but I don't know that I'm going to have time. And we have a woodpecker, don't we? Do we? What's this? No, it's a J. But this is the dueling pit. Apparently. And you see it uh, sinks down. No idea why. But I thought I'd take you through it, seeing as I've got a little bit of extra time. I mean, is, it, is that why that tree is so gnarled? Because there is death in here. Or well, the remains of death. Interesting, isn't it? Oh, look, some lovely crocuses. Just as we come out, so that brightens it up a bit, doesn't it? Not ravaged by birds, but <laughs> some have probably been eaten. Don't know if that pink's come out. Cherry plum blossom. And this is another, this is another old tree. Conifer, evergreen. Not, not that I know what it is. It's number two, apparently. So if you want to check that out, 
it's a number two. Funny enough, it was down here that I bumped into Van Morrison. Uh, I think like, like Waitrose, they were dropping off some groceries somewhere. No, I joke. I, I mean the real Van Morrison. He was walking along here and I was coming the other way. And uh, it was early evening, I think it was. So I just nodded, said, all right. And he kind of went, Whoa. rumpily. Uh, I didn't realize till a long time after who he was. I just thought he was some bloke, because I'm generally friendly, you know? I just thought he was this bloke walking along, you know? So I said hello. <laughs> And then I saw a picture of him. All right, oh, oh. <laughs> I've said hello to him. But he has, he often, or used to, either he's got a flat in the Royal Crescent or he, there's a studio there, I know, that gets used. Because uh, he did some work with RJ Stewart on an album, which I'll get into in another video. If you know RJ Stewart, if you know Xena, you might know RJ Stewart. If you know about magic and Celtic stuff, you might know about RJ Stewart. Interesting man. This is one of the quietest roads, tracks, walkways within the city. <laughs> I know them all. Well, when you get abuse, every time you go out, you learn to take the paths of less chance of anything nasty happening. Now, have a look at these. These are quite tall, aren't they? These, um, are they artichokes or are they the other one? Um, yeah, artichokes. And to complete a set, we've got the Ocado van. <laughs> I try and stay out of trees where there's likely to be roots getting exposed. Because at some point these will be in big trouble. Exposed roots are something trees don't like. As you can see here, they're already getting disturbed here with the amount of people that come here and wander around and look in there, like the ones at Avebury. So I don't do it. And I, however tempting it is, don't do it. It's not good for the trees. So anyway, that's into town. And we're going to pop this way, which goes towards the Royal Crescent. And so probably there is some kind of alignment avenue there.
And while we're here, we might as well take a look at one of the lovely streets, lovely little streets. Let's go through here. Full of interesting independent shops. And that's tempting for me. I might have to go in there one day. <laughs> Well, I've had two fillings and it's not, not too bad. I can still speak. Uh, here we are at the end. A nice little private garden for the residents. complete with a lovely Daphne and some jonquil and crocuses and snowdrops lovely spring place and they are lovely to smell Watch time team, you may have seen them do a dig here because this is the site of an old church. They've also done a dig on the other side of here. I think it was on the other side, maybe it's here, and I'm just confusing it because they went to the Royal Crescent. So, but anyway, this is a bomb site of an old church, and I might let Old Mark tell you about this one. An innocuous piece of land, you might think. Well, this was the site of a church that was bombed sometime during the Second World War. Some might say it was a good shot. And now, planted in its place, three oak trees. A pagan victory. And it's not just oaks, there are lime trees here as well. Uh, in fact, all of this area was bombed, that's what that's new. This, they're all new. I say, you know, new after the war, because this was heavily hit. A few things survived, but this was heavily hit as you can see by all the sort of newish buildings that have been put here. Anyway, we're nearly back. And uh, we'll go through another square, because this place is full of squares and crescents. Which is interesting. And two lovely old trees here. Oh, and the Sainsbury's one. We're just getting them all. We might have a full card by the time we get back. But uh, there's some tree surgery going on here. But these are two very old trees. 
hundreds of years old. With some more up the top there. Join me next time. Thanks for listening, watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. Check out the links below. Sign up for something. Donate if you want to. If not, see you next time. Dollar. And I'll leave you with a view of the dueling pit.